Hi, I'm Michael Fugler, FSX in Phoenix, Arizona, and we're on FSX TV. We're interviewing Mr. Hermenio Cotlar. Close, it's a, Michael. It's Herminio a Cotlar, how are you? It's a pleasure. Yeah. Yeah. So, what company are you with? Uh, Carbon Central Network, um, acronym CCN. Where is it located? Uh, Adelaide, South Australia, down under. Way down under. So, Absolutely. tell us what they do. Our mantra is save the rainforest. And uh, part of climate change is the cheapest way to cut down emissions is let nature do its job. And um, tropical rainforests absorb CO2, give out oxygen. The unfortunate part, with progress, as we call it, we've been cutting down a hectare of rainforests every three seconds. You cannot continue to do that. So tell me, what part are you playing in, in this process? Well... Two years ago, we, we looked at the way to save the rainforest. I'm a bit of a greenie, but I'm a realist as well. So, um, uh, all these websites had save orangutan, you know, save a tiger, save this. All these causes. Well, you can't save the orangutan unless you can save the tree, can you? And then, when you finished, sort of feeling sorry for the orangutan, you had this button that would say donate now. Well, when's the last time you done donated, Michael, to an orangutan cause or any of us? So I thought, you can't do aid. We have to do trade. So we come up with a new mantra, a new way of doing it, a new system. It's a four-legged table, and it's got people, planet, profit, and progress. And it works. And explain what part you're doing it. What exactly you do when you're in the rectangle? Well, um, we've got land in Australia and the Philippines, Papua New Guinea, uh, Brazil, Peru, Colombia. And we go there and talk to the indigenous people themselves. The fortunate part about it, they've got land, but they can't sell the land. But people unscrupulously walk in there and sort of give them deals to cut down the rainforest. And um, in the past, the rainforest is the timber, and that's where the value is. The rest of the things that a forest does, like trees hold the soil together, trees uh, take in carbon dioxide, give out oxygen, trees and forests harbour 50 million life forms. Some fantastic people live there called indigenous people, and they have the secrets of the biodiversity. These things in the economic world were called externalities that had no value. So about five years ago, they remembered, oops, we left out of that out of the Kyoto Protocol. How do we then give value to the forest? All those things I mentioned are now valuable. So what we focus on is carbon credits. You can now measure a hectare of rainforest and how much CO2 it takes in. And that's one tonne of CO2 equals one carbon credit. And that's a tradable commodity. And so your company is setting up the trade? Well, we thought we'd do it differently. We thought rather than go straight to the corporates, we do that now, CSR, which is Corporate Social Responsibility, we thought we'd take uh, another route. We thought we'd go for the revolution. Too strong a word, so we thought we'd go for sustainable evolution. And how do you create a revolution? It's called people power. So we went through social marketing network. It's a blend of, um, you can imagine Twitter, Facebook, and all of those that collect friends and have causes. We do the same, but we reward people for green behavior. Then they bring more people on board who also purchase some of this land. The land never belongs to you because it belongs to indigenous populations. But we have a contract for 30 years called the LIMA, Land Economic Management Agreement, that gives us three things. Entry to the land, because it's private land, commercialization of the land, and exclusivity for 30 years. And our members fund that because they purchase a hectare or sponsor a hectare. Eventually, that gives them carbon credits, which are valuable. But internally, it's a mechanism to trade these carbon credits or swap them for travel and so on and so forth. So we've been very successful in two years with thousands of members in 80 countries around the world. And um, we've got about 6 million hectares under management and under memorandum of understanding, possibly about 20 million hectares in all those countries I mentioned. And we share the profits with the native population. So it's more profitable to leave the trees alone than cut them down. Well, it sounds like a very worthwhile undertaking. Certainly, saving the rainforest is something that's of interest. Yeah. 
And there we go. It's such, such an. Ex- I haven't seen this see, much excitement. This, that's this a much, fire alarm. I haven't seen this much excitement. I actually orchestrated on an interview in a long time. I actually you're, orchestrated you're, that. You're with it live. You know what? The website is <laughs> Carbon <laughs> Central. Carbon, Carbon Central Network dot com. Carbon Central Network And Emilio, thank you. You do know that I orchestrated this. It's a fire alarm. Exactly. Because a lot of those forests get cut down, chopped down, burnt down. Right? So there you go. You know, serendipitous, wasn't it? And you got to see it live here on FSX TV. 